deep body hold on the faith to worship God in spirit and in truth and we just give him, give him praise give him praise give him praise if you don't have a reason to thank the Lord you should go to your spirit and see people that are that are not able to move or able to talk or able to eat or able to shout or even stand in his presence this morning for he gave you the peace, he gave you the joy, he gave you the strength to come to his presence. It is not by our power of our might. It is not by our power of our might, Lord. We give you praise. We give you worship. We want to worship you in Next to you, and they correct the person. 
get tired. When you get tired, you just leave it alone and just let it go like that. No. Sit with the world. Sit with the world. Let's look at what the Bible says in Luke 15, 8 and 9. It says, Or oh, what woman, having ten silver, a coin, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and what? Search carefully until what? Until what? Until somebody with me this morning. Yes, sir. Until what? She finds it. Light up the candle. Search everywhere until she finds it. Let's read that uh, verse 9 together. And when she found it, she calls her friend and neighbors together. Say, rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I have lost. That word is there in the Bible. That word you need to liberate your life to fruitfulness. It is in there. Everything we need in our life. This is just like uh, GPS taking us to our de destination. Everything we need in life is in here. It directs us. Take us there. All we need to do is sit down and locate the appropriate word, locate the appropriate key to open that door to fruitfulness. But men, we are very lazy. We don't read our Bibles. We are very, don't let me use lazy, busy. We are too busy with work. The Bible says, seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And what? Amen. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Seek the word first. Search for it deeply. Locate that word. Then it will work for you. It will work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anytime you feel like you are going through any form of fruitlessness in your life, sit with the word. Locate the appropriate scripture. And it will work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't stop looking for it. Keep looking for it. The Lord, read, read and read again. But one day the Lord will open your eyes to that verse you need. To get you out of poverty. To get you out of sickness. To get you out of unemployment. To get you out of failure. To get you out of disappointment. That word is in here. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sit down and locate the right word. And it will work for us in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Turn to me into the book of uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 24. Are you with your Bible here this morning? Yes. Open your Bible to Proverbs 24 from verse 13. Do not just, don't just fold your hands when you are experiencing some kind of fruitlessness. Don't let us fold our hands. Search the scriptures. Proverbs 24 from verse 13. I read verse 13 and we all read together verse 14. My son, eat thou only because it is good and the only come which is sweet to thy taste. Verse 14. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall never be cut off. When thou hast what? Found it. That means you need to sit and search for it. It's not saying it will be shown to you. Not just hearing it here alone. You still have to go home and look for that word. When thou hast found it, then there shall be what? Reward. There shall be a reward. And your expectation shall never be cut off. When you are looking for, when you are reading for an exam, there's a way you read for an exam. You don't just read for an exam. 
you read with expectation that you want to write the exam and you want to what? You want to pass. The way you're reading for exam is not the way you will study, you will read a magazine. You are just reading a magazine for your own pleasure. Just reading through. But when you are studying for exam, you study in the Bible, sit with it, search, think, with the expectation of getting what you so desire. And our God is a faithful God. He will open your eyes. He will open your eyes to see it. When you get there, He will open your eyes and say, see, that is where you are going. He's a faithful God. He will never allow you to labor in vain. He said, your expectation shall not be cut off. Hallelujah. So sit with the world and program yourself out of fruitlessness. Sit with the world. Number two, believe what you found. Believe what you found. It is not only searching for the scripture, but you need to believe in what you have found. What the Lord has shown to you, you need to grip, you know, take a hold of it. Believe in it. And say, this word will work for me. Believe in it. Then after, after finding it, believe that what you have found is the truth. Believe that what you have found is the truth. Luke 1 45 says, And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Blessed is she. If you don't believe, it will not work. There is no way, there's no two ways to it. You need to believe the word for it to work for you. You need to believe in the word for it to work for you. And in, and, uh, in Mark 9, 23, let's read together. Mark 9, 23, Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe all apostles, for he that what? If you can believe all things, not some things, all things. Shall be possible for, 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 for him that believe it. Hallelujah. So without faith, it is so impossible to please God. Build your faith on that word that you have found. Build your faith on it. He that cometh to God must believe that he is the rewarder of them that what? Is the reward of those that are diligently seeking. Build your faith on that wall and it will work for you. So when you build your faith on that wall, the, because the word of God what it never fails. It never fails. It never fails. Finding the word is not enough. Locating the scripture, finding the appropriate, appropriate key is not enough. But you need to believe when you find that key, you say, this key is opening this door. This word is liberating my life. This word is going to work for me. Keep proclaiming it. Keep saying it. And it will work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it will work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. Declare the word. It is not enough searching for the scriptures and believing in it. You also need to declare the word. Declare the word of God day by day. Say, I shall prosper. My children will prosper. My business will grow. My career, I will flourish in it. In my education, I will pass excellently. My marriage will flourish. Proclaim that word day by day. Declare it. 
It is what you declare that actually, that you actually see. In the beginning, when God wanted to create the, when God wanted to create the world, he said what? Let there be. He proclaimed it. It didn't happen before he proclaimed it. He didn't see the light. Then say, ah, light has come. No. <laughs> he proclaimed it. He saw it. He saw the light. He saw the light. And he said, let there be light. And there was light. It is what you proclaim that you see. If you don't proclaim it, you don't see it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, Declare the word with your mouth what you have found. Confront the situation. Speak against violence. Cause it from its root. And proclaim what? Your victory. Mark 11 23. If thou shalt say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and it shall not doubt in your heart, you shall have what? Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Be thou removed, be cast into the sea. Proclaim it. Cut it from the root. You failure. I cut you from your root today. Then it will be cursed. Then it will paralyze. Then it will die off. Then you proclaim a victory. You proclaim your victory in Christ. You say, I'm pro I, I proclaim my victory in Christ Jesus. I am fruitful. In anything I do, I will be fruitful. If you don't say, I will be prosper, then how do you expect to be prosperous? God says, I am he that give her the power to what? To make wealth. The power to come out of poverty. You don't have it. It is God that has, that has it. I am he that give her the power to make wealth. That scripture alone, if you know what he has done in the lives of people, if God can open your eyes to that alone, then there, there wouldn't be anything like poverty in your life. That scripture alone, there wouldn't be anything like death. Oh, wait. I know uh, the, we are blessed to be here in Canada. Uh, I know this country, most of you know, it's built on uh, credit and all that. I remember yesterday, was it yesterday, Friday, when uh, Daddy Gio was, uh, when he was ministering, he said, he said, uh, if a man in, I'm actually from Nigeria, if a man have to proclaim it, 2 Corinthians, let's open our Bible to 2 Corinthians 4.13. 2 Corinthians 4, 13. It says, We have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believe. That is the second step. I believe and therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. 2 Corinthians 4, 13. We have in the same spirit of faith. Building your faith. On that thing that you have found. And calling as it is written. I believe. Then you have to believe. And therefore after you believe you what? Speak. It is process. You, you can't jump it. It's a process. Find it. Believe in it. Declare it. Hallelujah. Amen. Then it will work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. It will work for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I can't be poor. I can't, I can't be barren. I can't be sick. I, I, I am unkillable. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Believing is not enough, but we have to declare it. We have to declare it day by day. Devil is not always happy when we are proclaiming such. And when he knows you really mean what you are saying, he moves back. You proclaim it, the next day he moves back. And the farther he goes, the farther the problem leaves you. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep proclaiming it. Keep saying it. Those who can't declare can never see the victory. Those who are scared to declare the word of God, they can't see victory. Let's open up our book Bible to Psalm 81, verse 10. Psalms 81, verse 10. Quickly. Psalms 81, verse 10. Let's read together. Are we there? Yes. He said, that I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth, and I will feel it. Open your mouth. Don't be scared to declare the word of God. Every Christian that cannot talk Satan down will always remain at the bottom. Be confident. If you can't talk in the public, you can't talk to them, say, get out of my way. Then how do you intend to have victory? You can't keep quiet. The Bible says the kingdom of God survived violence. And what? The violence. Take care of you, you need that violence to talk him down and say, you know what? You are stupid. Then get out of my way. Because I'm thinking what rightfully belongs to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's open our Bible to uh, that same Psalms 18. 18, 33 to 35. Psalms 18, 33 to 35. Are we there? Yes. It says, Thou hast delivered me from the striving of the people, and thou hast made me the heir of the heathens. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Verse 44, let's read together. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Who are those strangers? Poverty, sickness, barrenness, failure, disappointment. Those are the strangers. Let's read that 44 again. It says, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. 45. The strangers shall fade away. They will fade away in the name of Jesus. And be afraid out of their close places. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the word of God for us. Those strange things, they are not part of us. They are not part of us at all. Declare the word of God. We have it. We have it. We have this thing. We have it. If you don't, if you don't know the, that saying, that says, if you don't know the reason of having something, then abuse becomes what inevitable. We have it. Let's use it. Hallelujah. Number four, quickly. Demonstrate through action. So, you have searched for it. You believe in it. You have declared it. And this is where most people fail. This is where most people fail. You take corresponding action after you have declared it. You can't declare the word of God and you are saying, I'm, I, I am not poor. And you are still looking like somebody who is wretched. No. Look good for Jesus. Look good for God. You say you are sick and the pastor prays 
for you. And you are saying, yeah, I'm still seeing the symptoms of <laughs> Can you imagine? Even when you still look sick, act like somebody who is not. Yes. Then the word of God will take place. Hallelujah. The power of God is there for us to use. Take action. Saints, take corresponding action based on what you have what? Believed. Take action on it, on what you have believed in. 4 Samuel 1, 17 to 18 says, Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. 18, let's read together. And she said, Let thy handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went away and did what? Eat. And her countenance was no more. Ha! This is a woman who has been barren for so many years. And after she prayed, she put into action. She hasn't been eating before. Then she made that delicious meal and went and sat down. She began to eat. People asked her, what is wrong? She said, nothing is wrong with I'm doing fine. I'm doing what? Fine. And the Bible says her continence was no more sad. She has been sad before, but because she has found the key, because she believed in that word, and because she has proclaimed it, she took corresponding action. And let me tell you something, God weighs our what? Our actions. It is what you have in your mind that comes up. When the angels that is bringing out, bringing the answer from heaven is coming down and find out that what you are proclaiming is different from what you are from your action. Then how do you expect him to deliver those answers to you? No. God weighs our action. God weighs our action. He weighs our action. It will never intervene until our action changes. God weighs our action in order for him to inter intervene into our problem, into our situation. Our action determines God's intervention. It's as simple as that. Our action determines what God's intervention. So exceedingly proud, let not arrogance come out of your mouth. The big part is what I need. It says, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him, what are we? Actions. By him, actions are weighed. He weighs our actions. What you do, how you take it. You say I am here and you are still there. Proclaim it. Proclaim it. My husband is on the way. My victory is on the way. My appointment is on the way. No more failure. Yes. Just walk around. Whosoever wants to be angry, let them get angry. Don't mind them. Yeah. Don't, don't mind them. Let them get angry. Hallelujah. Yeah. How many will laugh this month? How many will laugh this month? How many will laugh this month? 